Hey, it's Jeff Gibbons, and in this video I'm going to give you a little tech tip. So normally I do video or music production tutorials and things like that, but in this case what I want to do is talk about setting up a Mac with a 4K TV. Now it sounds like it should be fairly simple. I am a guy who usually likes to work with dual monitors. You'll see that on all my other videos. I've worked with dual monitors forever and I also used to work with dual monitors and a TV like a HD TV above that setup. And I loved working that way. I loved having lots of screen real estate. But lately I've decided I want to try this 4K TV thing out. Put the TV on the wall, get the setup a little further away from the wall and see if I could work with that. When you first plug your display in, it's going to run at 3840 by 2160 at 30 hertz. And if you look over here, if I just go down to the dock and just sort of mouse through the dock, you'll see that the animations on the bottom are really kind of jittery and slow. We tried watching movies on this and the dialogue was way off with the mouth. So the mouth was late and was extremely annoying to watch movies this way. So what I had to do was research how to get this TV and my Mac to run at 60 hertz. I don't want it at 120 hertz because then when I'm editing videos, things will look weird. You'll get that soap opera effect that you see at, you know, TV stores and it just doesn't look good. So I had to get this TV running at 60 hertz. And the way I figured out to do that was to find a piece of software called Switch Res X. So Switch Res X is uh, a little bit of software that's going to run in your system preferences and it costs $21 Canadian. So probably something like two bucks American. I'm just kidding. And the cool thing about this is you can just do a trial first and see if it works for you. So I installed Switch Res X because when I went to my displays, no matter what resolution I had it at, so whether I go to 4K, which is 3840 by 2160, or if I scale it down to something like 2560 by 1440, you'll see that things are very jittery. So if I move things around right here, super jittery. If I go down to the dock at the bottom, very jittery, still not running at 30 at 60 Hertz. I can actually verify that by going up to the Apple menu, go to about this Mac and then go to system report. And I am on Mojave as well. I should mention that. And I go to graphics and displays and here I can see on my second video card here, I can see that it's running at 30 Hertz. So it's not running at 60 Hertz. It looks terrible. It's completely unusable to work with a computer like this. So no matter what resolution I put it at, it would stay that way. Here's the caveat with my little video is that I'm not able to show you how to get this monitor running at 3840 by 2160. So full 4k. What happened for me was when I installed Switch Res X, it allowed me to go to a scaled up resolution. And in my situation right here, it actually is perfect. If I look at this TV running at 4K right now, everything is just too small. The text is too small compared to how far away I have the TV. Once I installed Switch Res X, I go over to the preference panel. I click on Switch Res X and I can see the TV at the bottom and I can see a couple of options. And what I needed to do was go to current resolutions. And here I can see I've got a 4K option, which is running at 30 Hertz. And then I've got this lower resolution option at 60 Hertz. Clicking that changes the monitor to 2560 by 1440, which works out to be the perfect resolution for me to view everything on this TV at the distance that I'm at. So if I go over to 2560 by 1440, so now it's running at 2560 by 1440 at 60 Hertz. I can verify that up at about this, at about this Mac overview and system report. And then I go to graphics displays and I can see that it is running at 60 Hertz. And if I look at the screen, you can also tell that it's running at 60 Hertz because everything is smooth and looks exactly the way it should. So 60 Hertz is definitely the way you want to get your TV working. And for me, 60 Hertz is important because I don't want it at 120 Hertz, which isn't even an option in this case, but it's working for me. So I'm going to use this Switch Res X and now I can have my TV running at a perfect resolution for me. So apparently there's other ways you can hack into your Mac and some people have had some success with running some terminal commands that allow you to run this monitor at 
4K, full 4K resolution, but this is what's working best for me. So I just wanted to share that. Now, the other question is, of course, should you use a 4K TV, a giant 4K TV as a monitor? And I'm going to try this out for a while. I'm really liking it so far. Doing things like editing photos in here is quite incredible. Do a lot of photo editing, a lot of Photoshop. And for me to go in there and have this giant display where I can be doctoring up my photos is awesome. I love that. I also do a lot of video editing and editing video on this giant screen is also quite amazing. I don't know, I'm gonna try this out for a while. I may go back to dual displays, we'll see. So anyways, check out my other videos if you're into music or video editing and stuff like that. And I'll be posting a lot more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Hey, Jim.